How are you? I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. This bit is from the seventh book in my trail series of Western novels, Cutthroat Trail. We join Reuben, Marion, and Homer at evening camp. Me and Homer ate some bacon, beans, and fry bread for supper, but Marion didn't stay with us. He rode on into Nevada to see what he could see, saying he'd get a bite when he was in town. It was near full dark when he come back. You get supper, did you? Homer asked him. Did, Marion said, dropping his saddle. Well, what did you eat? Beef steak and potatoes. There you go, Rube. Homer went on. Our part here leaves us setting out on the trail with bacon and beans while he gets into civilization and has himself a damn beefsteak. That'll sure tell you what he thinks of us. You fixing the ball about how unfair I treat you? Marion asked, rooting around in his saddlebag. Well, my feelings is some hurt. After everything we've been through, I figured you thought more, Reuben, me than that. Marion come up with a sack in and handed it to Homer. There's half a dozen eggs in there for breakfast in the morning and half a dozen big old oatmeal cookies for a snack tonight. Three for you and three for Reuben. That help your poor old feelings any, does it? Homer got a couple of them cookies out and tossed me one. Marion Daniels is a hell of a man, Rube, he said. Takes a pretty fine feller to bring cookies to his pards out on the trail. I believe I might have misjudged him. Them cookies were some tasty. I was stretched out on my roll finishing up the third one when Marion hollered. Talk to the town sheriff, he said. Had another killing. Oh, hell, Homer grunted. Marion nodded. Yes, sir. About a week ago, a feller run across a dead mule that had been head on quite a bit, still in the traces of a buckboard wagon a little way north of Neosho and off the trail a ways. That's around 60 miles from here. They was the remainders of two bodies near the wagon, a man and a woman, that the Yotes had also got to. Said there was no way to tell what had killed them folks. There weren't enough left of them after the buzzards and such finished up. Well, you know what killed them, Homer said. So do I. So does Rube. Damn it, boys, this here's a mess. These fellers is more than just killers. They is crazy in their minds and don't deserve no more consideration than a dog that's head up with the rabies. Four more days of hitting it pretty hard and we'll get to Fort Smith, Marion said. Them boys is in the nations by now, I bet you. That might slow the killing down some. Hayes and Ruggles are cowards looking for easy targets. Targets ain't gonna be so easy out in the nations. Hell, Homer said. By the time we get there, somebody else might have laid these boys out for us. Marion looked at him. You believe that, do you? Well, I wish I did, Homer said, but I don't. Me neither, Marion said. The wind was up fair that night and there was quite a bit of lightning to the north of us. But it never did come to rain. You can find my trail series of westerns at a number of outlets in both ebook and e audiobook format. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for stopping by Theater of the Mind. Uh, the oatmeal cookies are at the lobby snack bar.